Hey everybody, I'm Yvonne Williams with Back to Earth Creations and we are doing another Freeze and Fuse experiment video. So I have these very shallow heart molds and I'll show you uh, a little later in the tutorial um, some other heart molds that I've used that I'm, the jury is still out on whether or not I'm going to be using those. But I think these ones are my favorite and after uh chatting with some of our other crafty friends about some different freeze and fuse techniques um i'm trying something new so i have our regular slurry of just water with i keep adding powdered glass to it today i am using powdered deep aqua transparent and this stuff over here is uh cherry red transparent so I'm just taking a scoop of our slurry and then tapping it into the mold. I'm actually going to go through with, I have like a um, punctuating, like a percussive uh, neck massager that I'm going to sit onto here and have it like and like tap out all the bubbles for me. You could also use like, I guess I've seen people who do tile work and stuff like that use like sawzalls. For providing that percussive um, it's just really it's just to get the glass powder to settle without any bubbles so coming through on each of these and I'm not worried right now about filling up the mold I just want to get the face Let's see oh I popped that one already but um, I just want to get the face of the heart filled with glass and let that start settling once I get this fine-tuned with single colors, then I, I'm so excited to get started with... And you can see here, this is starting to get a little dry. That's too dry for what I'm trying to do. I want this to be too wet. That way, um, it settles just a little better. But once we get this figured out with good, consistent results, then I'm going to start experimenting with mixing colors and doing patterns and stuff. And I'm really eager to uh, kind of get on that, but I don't want to rush it. So that and I'm still uh, still need to place a glass order so that I can get more than just these few colors of powdered glass. And that way we can get some really interesting color blends and things like that too. So now that we have this here. We can come in, and I'm just pulling this right off the edge of my grid board. And I'm just gonna... Shake tap. And I don't know if that's actually accomplishing anything because I'm not seeing any bubbles rise, but I also tapped it quite a bit with the popsicle stick to try to get things settled. So we'll see. Now I'm just coming through with glass powder. And you can see how that wicks up that moisture. That excess moisture, rather. And on some of these, I'm just going to go ahead and do like a full teaspoon scoop because it takes about at least two full teaspoons of powder to fill up each cavity. I'm not certain what that is on the weight. Okay. And now from here, we'll come through with a pipette. We're just water. And you can almost see how it drips through. Once it gets to a good saturation level, it will start like all the powder, whoop, there it is, will start to change uh, in color. And it's not like temperature changing or moisture changing or anything like that. It is literally just the powders hydrating. And just like that, you can see it get nice and dark. And so I want to get all the powder 
up to this point looks like I missed one of the hearts. I'll have to put some some powder in it. My doggy is very upset about being a dog today. And yeah, we'll go ahead and put a scoop into that one. Oh, bump in the tripod. Get that just hydrated through. And now we're going to come through with the same little stick that I was using. And I want to start just going over the surface. And the nice thing about these molds is with it being silicone, um, the moisture just slicks right across it. So you don't have to worry about um, puddling or pooling or anything like that. It's very easy to work with these molds. You can see we definitely need to add some more powder to quite a few of these. And I'm just skimming across the surface to get everything flattened out. And it's I prefer to be able to just add a little bit more than to have to be like, oh, I added too much. And then I have to start trying to take it away in empty molds. Um, so I'd rather just do a little at a time. And so I'm going to go see if I can help my dog um, and I'll meet you guys back here. So I am taking full advantage of today's blizzard, uh, like weather warning and everything like that. And I just, instead of popping it into my freezer, I just have our freeze and fuse here on our front porch. So I'm going to let these harden up to as frozen as frozen gets. And then we will be loading them into the kiln. So it's been a while and I actually had some moons and these are frozen solid. So we are going to take them in and get them loaded into the kiln. So what, what we did is we stood out on the porch in the freezing cold and took the hearts out of their mold and that don't really have to worry about if they're super close together. Don't touch them. <laughs> oh, that one's real close. It's is it? Okay. Well. I'll t okay, I'll touch it that way if it's me that messes it up, it's my fault. <laughs> but yeah, that's how, so that's why we're a little out of breath as we've been running, running in and out of the house. But that is how they're looking. We are going to fire them. The firing school, well, we're going to run them through the kiln. There's no like open flame. Um, we are going to run it through its firing schedule that is down in the video description. And we'll show you all in the morning. So this is how the hearts have come out. Now the texturing, that little bit of color variation on the surface, I'm not entirely certain what's up with that. I think it's because I'm using a translucent powder. I think once I get my hands on some opaque powders, um, that'll be a lot better. And we only had a little bit of cracking over here on this one moon. So in that one, look at how skinny he came out. That's such a cutie. I love, love, love the variation in this. So we're going to pop these. We actually take them outside onto our porch, but it's cold and gross out there. <laughs> what excellent timing. Um, but we take the tray out there and we take this bowl out there and then we take the stuff off the tray. We just like pick it up. And then bloop into there. I'd show it, but I don't want to be doing that on camera because it's cold and gross. Um, so, and then we'll get them cleaned up. So I'm secretly spying on Randy as he empties the calves. The poor creature is out there in the cold. And me and Sam Dog, we're in here where it's also cold. <laughs> so this is how the hearts have come out. Now, I need to go through and clean up the edges, probably on our grinder, but if you're doing this at home and you don't have a grinder, uh, this is just a file. And normally, I'd be doing this over the sink, but I just want to smooth down. You could use some sandpaper or like um, a diamond emery bit on a Dremel or something, but it really interesting results. Now, this one came out perfectly smooth like uh and what we did on these is we took it out of the mold and then I went through and just used the heat of my finger to come through and round down that edge and so you can see that gives a much different result in the way that the edges are finished
if it'll focus. So <laughs> thank you guys so much for hanging out with me during this video. I do hope that this was helpful to you. If you have any requests for future tutorials or ideas that you'd like us to see experiment with, um, just let me know down in the comments. If you enjoy our free tutorials and would like to support the creation of more of them, as well as participate in our happy crafter club and booty boxes and different things like that and all the exclusive like the live streams and the coupons and but the, all the all the all the information for supporting the channel is down in the video description but really the best thing that y'all can do to help us out is to just keep learning and crafting and uh just keep on keeping on <laughs> so thank you guys so much again for being here and i look forward to seeing y'all in our next video and until then happy crafting Mwah. Bye. <laughs>